If you're a fan of combat sports, you may have wondered which one reigns supreme. With so many to choose from, it can be hard to decide. But have you ever heard of Lucha Libre? Originating in Mexico, this unique form of wrestling has captivated audiences for generations and is quickly gaining a global following. But what makes Lucha Libre so special? In this video, we'll explore why Lucha Libre is better than the UFC. We'll look at the incredible acrobatics and maneuvers that the luchadores execute with skill and precision, as well as the showmanship and entertainment value of the sport, from the colorful costumes and masks to the unique personas and alter egos adopted by the athletes. But it's not just about the entertainment value. Lucha Libre has a deep significance in Mexican culture and other parts of Latin America, and we'll examine why it's more than just a sport. And finally, we'll look at how the accessibility and inclusivity of Lucha Libre make it a sport for everyone to enjoy, from families and friends to aspiring athletes looking to train and compete. Lucha Libre is a sport like no other. This exciting Mexican form of wrestling is known for its unique and dynamic style, which combines high-flying moves, acrobatics, and technical grappling techniques. The sport is famous for its use of masks, which wrestlers wear to conceal their identity and create a sense of mystique and drama. Lucha Libre has a rich and long-lasting history, dating back to the early 1900s when Mexican wrestling first began to take shape. The sport was heavily influenced by traditional Greco-Roman wrestling, but over time it evolved into something distinctively Mexican. One of the most important figures in the early history of Lucha Libre was El Santo, a masked wrestler who became a cultural icon in Mexico in the 1950s and 60s. Over the years, Lucha Libre has continued to evolve and grow, becoming an integral part of Mexican culture and a source of national pride. Today, the sport is home to many talented and skilled athletes, including many who have achieved international fame and recognition. This Mexican form of professional wrestling is not only famous for its exciting athleticism, but also for the showmanship that sets it apart from the UFC. At the heart of Lucha Libre is the concept of the rudo and the técnico. Rudos are the bad guys, the villains of the story, while técnicos are the good guys, the heroes. The rudos will do anything to win, often resorting to dirty tricks and cheating, while the technicos fight fair and square. The wrestlers are often larger-than-life characters with colorful costumes and masks that reflect their personas. The masks, in particular, are an important part of the showmanship. Wrestlers often hide their identities behind their masks adding an air of mystery and intrigue to their performances. In the ring, Lucha Libre is all about showmanship. Wrestlers will perform incredible feats of athleticism, including high-flying jumps, flips, and dives, often from the top rope or even the ring posts. The acrobatics are not just for show, though. They are an essential part of the storytelling. Wrestlers' moves will often reflect their personality and status as a rudo or técnico. Matches themselves are full of drama and excitement. The storyline often twists and turns with unexpected reversals and comebacks. The crowd gets involved, cheering for their favorite wrestlers and booing the villains. The wrestlers will often play to the crowd, taunting their opponents or interacting with the fans. That is why Lucha Libre is considered not just a sport, but a form of entertainment. It's a spectacle that engages all the senses, with bright colors, loud music, and the smell of sweat and adrenaline in the air. It's a unique cultural experience that is beloved by fans all over the world. One of the most famous luchadores of all time is Rey Mysterio Jr. Known for his acrobatic and spectacular moves, he has won numerous titles and awards throughout his career, including multiple championships both in Lucha Libre and the WWE. Known for his incredible athleticism and agility, he uses his capabilities to execute some of the most jaw-dropping moves in the sport. Also, he's well known for his colorful and eye-catching costumes, which have become iconic symbols of the sport. Another iconic Lucha Libre wrestler is El Hijo del Santo, the son of the legendary El Santo. 
El Hijo del Santo is known for his technical prowess and is considered one of the greatest technical wrestlers in Lucha Libre history. He has faced some of the biggest names in the sport, including Eddie Guerrero and Rey Mysterio Jr., and has won numerous championships and awards. El Hijo del Santo is also famous for his mask, which he wears at all times in public a tradition that he inherited from his father. And what could be more interesting than watching the equally talented female luchadoras, who have contributed just as much to the sport's popularity as men? One such wrestler is Lady Apache, who has been active in the ring for over 30 years and has won numerous titles in Mexico and Japan. Her acrobatic and high-flying moves, combined with her undeniable charisma, have made her a fan favorite in the wrestling world. The inclusivity of female wrestlers in the sport is a testament to the growing recognition of women's contributions in traditionally male-dominated fields in Mexican society. Lucha Libre is a unique and fascinating sport that offers something for everyone, whether you're a casual fan or a dedicated athlete. One of the key reasons for this is the sport's accessibility and inclusivity, which means that anyone can enjoy it, regardless of their age, gender, or background. For families and friends, Lucha Libre offers a fun and exciting way to spend time together. The acrobatics and colorful costumes make for a thrilling theater to entertain kids and adults alike. Moreover, the theatrical and dramatic nature of Lucha Libre matches makes it an ideal activity for groups looking for an entertaining night out. Lucha Libre is not just a sport, but also a cultural phenomenon that has captured the hearts and imaginations of people all over the world. With its unique blend of movements, storytelling, and cultural significance, Lucha Libre has become a beloved part of Mexican culture and a symbol of national pride. As such, watching or participating in a Lucha Libre match is not just a sporting experience, but a cultural one that offers a window into the vibrant history of Mexico. And, unlike UFC, Lucha Libre is all about fun and inclusivity. You don't have to be a hardcore fan or an elite fighter to enjoy this sport. You just have to be ready to let loose and have a good time. Whether you're cheering for your favorite wrestler or marveling at their incredible skills, Lucha Libre is a sport that brings people together and creates unforgettable memories. So, if you're looking for a new way to experience the thrill of combat sports, look no farther than Lucha Libre. Whether you're watching from the comfort of your home or cheering in the recuse arena, you'll be part of a global phenomenon that has captured the hearts and minds of millions.